Hi, this is my first documentary. The theme for this documentary is man-made satellites. Before I start, we have learned some information about gravitation and man-made satellites in Chapter 3 of Form 4 Physics. There are two different satellites that we've learned, geostationary and non-geostationary satellites. To begin with satellites, here's a brief history about early satellites. The first man-made satellite ever built was the Sputnik 1 by the Soviet Union on 4th October 1957. It then inaugurated a cold war of making satellites. Shortly after, they released Sputnik 2, which carried a dog into space, and the US launched the Explorer 1. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, widely known as NASA, launched the first communications satellite, Echo 1, to space on 12 August 1960. Then, various countries were not far behind the movement, such as British, who launched an ionospheric research satellite. Area 4 and Indonesia who launched their first satellite Palapa A1. The biggest satellite humans have ever built to date is the International Space Station ISS. There are many types of satellites ranging from communication, navigation and weather to research and application satellites. Satellites which have been used in a variety of sectors provide convenience like high bandwidth large coverage of area and cheap to maintain. However, satellites have to be sent into outer space, so naturally it will need a ton of cash for designing and developing them. They also need to be monitored 24-7 to ensure they do not escape from the orbits or crash into something else. Here is a model of orbiting satellites around the Earth that I've made. The satellites include the first man-made satellite Sputnik 1, the first geostationary satellite, Syncon 3, and the satellite communication by the US, SATCOM. This model is used to show satellites that have been sent into space or be around the Earth while the Earth rotates itself. The model also manifests satellite's communication in the outer space with the Earth is totally possible. Furthermore, there are a few examples of physics law shown in this model as well which will be stated later. The model can turn, which is made possible by a DC motor and a battery attached to the bottom. Here's the motor functioning. First and foremost, the model shows the universal law of gravitation. In this case, between the satellites and Earth exists gravitational force by the formula F equals to G and 1 and 2 over R squared. Satellites that orbit the Earth experience gravitation acceleration by the formula G equals G M over R plus H squared. Other than that, satellites are pulled by centripetal force towards the center of the Earth in a circular motion by the formula F equals 2mv squared over r as well as centripetal acceleration that is when satellites achieve optimal linear speed by the formula A equals 2v squared over r For Kepler's first law in this model the satellites now orbit the Earth as one focus in an almost elliptical orbit The Kepler's third law can be used too that the square of the orbital period of satellites is directly proportional to the cube of radius of the orbit. Because there are three satellites in this model to compare with, the formula T1 square over T2 square equals to R1 cube over R2 cube can be used. Besides, linear speed of satellites can be calculated using V equals to square root GM over R. So, there we have it, my documentary about my model of orbiting satellites around the Earth. Thank you for watching and bye.